What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button if you like daily updates on both crypto and stock, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, and news. And if you want 24-7 access to myself and Todd Butterfield's live trades, Q&A, news, fundamentals, and the list goes on, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. A dollar a day can keep the bankers away. What is this video going to be talking about? It's going to be talking about the green bars on Bitcoin, what is causing them, and if it is valid. Yes, this will be talking about the grayscale winning their lawsuit against the SEC. As you can see here, all the previous trades on Bitcoin all the way up. Yes, we've been bullish. Yes, we've been taking profits. And yes, we've been buying back. Now, we did sell for a 1% gainer before the big waterfall effect. Bitcoin sat here at 26,000 as expected. We thought we were going to get another dip, so we didn't re-enter. Instead, we have this green bar. Now, it is still under our previous sell, so we're okay here. But why aren't we buying this rally? I mean, Grayscale won the lawsuit against the SEC, right? Well, a couple reasons. From a technical perspective, they still have huge, massive overhead resistance on this diagonal white line here. This was the previous support on all these lows and the support that gave away to cause this waterfall back here on August 18th. So this will be heavy resistance. Also, we do see this yellow line. This is the 200 moving average on the four hour chart. You can see it ran right into that and it has given up a couple hundred dollars off of that low or off of that wick there. So that's also overhead resistance. We look at the RSI. It is the most oversold it has been since this level here. What was this? This was nearly the top before we rolled over. It is just as almost as overbought as over here. That is a bearish thing as well. Now, why did the chart do this? It is because of this news, right? Where are you? Here. Grayscale won their lawsuit against the SEC. They were trying to become a Bitcoin, convert GBTC into a Bitcoin spot ETF. SEC said no. They opened up a lawsuit and the court said, wait a second. Wait a second. Let's review this. We, as the court, agree the denial of Grayscale's proposal was arbitrary because the commission failed to explain its different treatment of similar products. We therefore grant Grayscale's petition and vacate the SEC's order. Holy cow! The first Bitcoin spot ETF is here in the United States! Wait a sec. Not quite. A lot of people on Twitter are FOMOing, saying the Bitcoin spot ETF is here. Moon it. Go long. 100x long, guys. Let's do it. Buy this green candle. This isn't what this means at all. On this 21-page document, official from the court, if we go all the way to the bottom, page 21, you can see, we therefore, we the court, therefore grant Grayscale's petition for review, for review, and vacate the commissioner's order. This just means that the SEC will have to review their push to get a Bitcoin spot ETF, just like all of these spot ETFs, okay? So this is good. Grayscale will get under review once again. Now, that review isn't going to come quick in my opinion. I think 45 days at the earliest. Why do I say 45 days? Look, Grayscale is working under the predetermination that they had first mover advantage for a potential Bitcoin spot ETF, and they were denied. Now, September 1st through 4th, look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Bitcoin spot ETFs have their first deadline. The SEC on September 1st, September 2nd, and September 4th need to say whether they approve these Bitcoin spot ETFs or delay them. If it gets delayed, that means it gets delayed 45 days. These can be delayed up to twice, meaning the third delay would be January 15th, 2024. Now, why is January 15th, 2024 interesting? Gary Gensler, in his own words, said that he does not believe a Bitcoin spot ETF will happen in 2023, but instead 2024. If the SEC delays these spot ETFs, there's eight of them right here, plus the Grayscale one. If he max delays them out, delays them uh, in September, delays them in October, guess what? The third deadline will be January 15th, 2024, which in his own words could be a Bitcoin spot ETF in next year right before the Bitcoin happening, which is occurring in April. So in my opinion, great, great, Grayscale won the case. They are back in the running along with these eight other Bitcoin spot ETFs. But it does not mean the Bitcoin spot ETF is approved. I do not think it will be approved before these guys will. 
And I do not think any of these ETFs are going to get approved. Not on September 1st, not BlackRock on September 2nd, and not Valkyrie on September 4th. I think SEC will delay it once again. Now, do I think there will, will be a Bitcoin spot ETF? Yes. Will they choose to do it sooner than later? Maybe they do it in October? Potentially. What could be interesting is if they delay Grayscale for 45 days from today, they will still be a few days earlier than all of these ETFs, meaning they still get the first mover advantage by launching early October or early January. So there's no hard feelings there or sketchy looking or insider trading, anything going on there with the court and with the SEC. That would be, from an appearance stance, that would make a lot of sense. Also, Gary Gensler said Bitcoin spot ETF in 2024. If they max deadline these out, they delay these the first one, they delay these the second one, we get it in January, mid-January. Grayscale could be, you know, January 12th, and all the rest could be the 14th, the 15th, the 17th. Gary Gensler's own words. Bitcoin spot ETF does get approved. They just delayed it as much as they could. It's inevitable, and it's coming. So in my opinion, this Bitcoin chart... I think this is an overzealous rally. If these Bitcoin spot ETFs don't get approved in two days, in three days, and in four days from now, what do you think happens to this rally? This opens the eyes of everybody that the Grayscale one was not an ETF approval, just that they get their ETF proposal reviewed. All seven of the other Bitcoin spot ETFs that are on the line for September 1st through 4th get denied. Oh, I should say delayed 45 days at least. What happens? And you have the technicals where you're running into a 200 moving average. You have overhead resistance on this, this white diagonal. You have overbought on the RSI. And you had, before this news today, a very lackluster performance in Bitcoin. This is not a rally I would be chasing. We might get a buy signal on it, but I think there will be some kind of consolidation. Now, the way that this continues and, get and, and says, hey, Nick, this is an ABC that completed and we're going to 35000 potentially $45,000 would be that Grayscale is quickly, quickly granted Bitcoin spot ETF on September 1st through 4th. Maybe not all these, but say, you know, BlackRock gets approved, Vanek gets approved, Fidelity, and then Valkyrie. Maybe you say four out of the seven get approved. Then I think you have follow through. But does it make sense for SEC to rush out and approve all these when they can delay it two more times? Does it make sense for the SEC to approve any of these when they were just ordered today that they have to review the Grayscale spot ETF, who was supposed to have a first mover advantage. So if you approve any of these, you know, these next couple days, then Grayscale's sitting here waiting. How's that going to look? I just don't think it's coming. I'm going to be the pessimist when it comes to this ETF. And not even a pessimist, because I think a Bitcoin spot ETF is inevitable. But if, they, if SEC has time to push it off, why won't they? When do government agencies ever move quickly for the people? Never! I could be wrong. We could be left on the sidelines. We sold still, you know, 4% higher than what the price is now. But the technicals are showing me a lot of resistance. Overbought. And I don't think the government is going to be speeding along just for the little guy. Let's make them all money to approve this Bitcoin spot ETF when they can delay it all the way until January 15th. So I think have some patience here. Have some reason. You know, September 1st through 4th is going to be pivotal for what happens here on the charts. But my camp is we continue to wait. My camp is we continue to wait on Bitcoin, on Litecoin, on Ethereum, on BNB, on Solana, on MicroStrategy, and on Riot. All cryptos and stocks we sold around these levels. And, of course, we bought back Coinbase and we also sold that. This was a live trade done in the Patreon group. We sold Coinbase at 105. We bought it back down here at below 76. And we sold it on the rally today at 84.60. So that's my opinion. Don't get overzealous. If you want full access to myself and Todd, join patreon.com slash learn crypto. If you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm dumb, leave it in the comment sections. I like to hear it. I want to hear all your opinions on why do you think the SEC will approve any of these and leave Grayscale hanging. Leave them waiting even though they just won the court case. I'll see you guys later. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.